I'm Jason Roselle. You're watching Get Inspired with Jason. Okay, I'm ready. Walter Mercado. Walter Mercado. Welcome to Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. Today, as you know, every week we bring inspirational people. I mean, hello, I'm inspirational, but I brought someone today that I think is even more inspirational, right? And today, vamos a hablar un poquito de español. Porque you guys know, soy de España y Puerto Rico, and I got to break it down and shake it down. I have today Kareem Tapsh. He's one of the most amazing directors that I can say I'm interviewing, and I'll tell you why. There's a movie called Con Mucho, Mucho Amor, The Legend of Walter Mercado, que me pone los pelos para, para, para arriba, para abajo. That means puts my hairs up and down. I'm not saying that Kareem is just an awesome director just because I'm saying it. You got to look this guy up and we're going to break down so many things today that you guys want to be glued and share this with everybody. Ain't that right, Kareem? That's right. I mean, I, I hope I can deliver. <laughs> like that. Oh, oh, you will. And, and look, <laughs> before we really get down to the interview, the reason I took on this interview and I had my team, including myself, they're like, look, I found this guy, but about you watched the movie. I said, yeah. Growing up, Walter Mercado, right? And I'm not saying this because I'm Spanish, but every weekday, me and my family, along millions of people, were glued watching this super genie horoscope teller, the most amazing, fascinating horoscopes. And I'm a Pisces. I'm emotional, so I need to get into this stuff. And Walter Mercado did it for me y todo el mundo. Right To me, Walter Mercado is much more than an icon. And today I have the pleasure of having Kareem on the show because you, my friend, created a masterpiece of the chronicles of, this, of, of his life. ¿Cómo estamos, Kareem? ¿Cómo estamos? Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias por uh, tenerme aquí invitado. It's uh, my pleasure to be here with you today and getting to chat a little bit about Walter. Absolutely. Uh, it's an honor. So, so, you know, there's a lot of people watching right now. If you guys haven't tuned into YouTube, what's your best Walter Mercado impersonation? You know, I can't do an impersonation. We did a lot. We learned that the magic is in the hands. He always taught us that. And uh, when we were doing promos on the films, we had a lot of jewelry on him. None today, but it's all it's all in the hands and the eyebrow. Okay. Uh, okay. So, but it's I, Walter. You can always be as extra as you want and get away with it if you're channeling Walter. I love it. I love it. So why don't you tell me a little bit about, you know, Walter – and the film. Just a quick little glimpse so everybody that is unknown with him or known can really get your personal take as a director. Yeah, you know, I mean, Walter Mercado was such a huge part of our lives. If you were a Latino growing up in the United States or throughout Latin America and in the Spanish-speaking world, Walter Mercado was like, you know, um, appointment viewing. You didn't miss it. Todas las tardes, 5 y 45 la tarde, abuela would sit us down and be like, shut up or you're going to get a flip-flop upside the head. As We're going to watch Walter Mercado. And what he did, his, his shtick, for lack of a better term, was uh, the horoscopes, astrology, right? But really, through the astrology, what he, was, uh, what he was sharing was an inspirational message of, like, love and peace. Hoy era difícil, quizás. Mañana iba a ser mejor. You know, tomorrow is going to be a better day. And you didn't, you know, as, as kids, when you see that, you, you didn't really know what the hell he was talking about, right? Uh, but you knew that he had the power to like, he had a presence and the power to command the attention in the room. And um, it was really, really impactful. He looked like nobody you'd ever seen before, very opulent and ever. robes and jewelry and makeup and hair. So you were like mesmerized. Um, <laughs> and so we wanted to tell his story in our movie. We wanted to say, how did this guy from Puerto Rico become this like global superstar, very unlike, unlikely rise to fame and why all of a sudden seemingly at the peak of his fame, he disappeared all of a sudden. So our film, Mucho Mucho Amor, is um, chronicles basically Walter's rise to fame, the, the levels he achieved, and uh, how and why he disappeared. Uh, and more importantly, we get to take the viewers into his world and into his house uh, in these last final years of his life. That's so amazing. I mean, I remember watching the documentary. I mean, I can sit here for 30 minutes and tell you the quality that you did with your team is beyond phenomenal. You know, I used to have a production company, so I, this is a lot of respect that you were able to take his life, be able to just 
bring it to the world in such a way that people are crying of happiness. People are crying because of laughter. You brought who he truly is to life. And, and some, you know, this is, to me, this is why this is such an important film that I feel the, the entire world needs to know of. And people that, like myself, I knew Walter, but I didn't know Walter until you watched this documentary, right? You know? Well, thank you for that. Thank oh. you for that. Yeah, I mean, my co-director, Christina Costantini, and uh, our producer, Alex Fumero, I mean, we were like, that's that was the thing. We wanted to be able to share his message. You know, as Latinos, we had Walter to ourselves for decades, really. And, uh, and his message was such an inspiring one and one's full of love and it's so needed. And, uh, and now that, to have that opportunity to kind of share him with the world uh, is really great because, you know, the world kind of needs that message of love and of peace and of inspiration now probably more than ever. So uh, I thank you for that. It's all Walter. We just, we managed to not screw it up, but Walter is the secret sauce of it all. He's just endlessly watchable and endlessly lovable. A hundred percent, you know, but I tell people at the end of the day, it's like any, excuse me, uh, excuse me, like at the end of the day, like any relationship, right? It takes two to tango. And not only did you have an amazing co-director, an amazing producer to bring this to life, but you work collaboratively as a team that when people watch this, the details on how you made the fluidity go where I'm like, I was glued, glued. And, and I, just a lot of admiration here. So why don't you tell me in the audience, how did it come about that you pitched and created this doc documentary? How did it all come to life? Because most people, they're like, oh, okay, I don't care to know that. No, I want to know. My audience wants to know. Awesome. No, thank you. Um, you know, I, we, we like to joke that the development period of this started when we were five years old, when we first started watching Walter and <laughs> Oh, uh, because he was just such a daily presence in life. But uh, my uh, my good friend, Andrew Evia, who's one of the producers of Moonlight, um, told me, like, you've got to meet a guy named Alex Fumero. Um, uh, he's a great guy, also from Miami. Alex was living in New York at the time. He was a VP of programming at HBO. And uh, I went up to New York and uh, I was there for a few days and Alex and I got together for lunch. And one of the first things that we talked about was Walter Mercado. We both kind of grew up with him and were obsessed with him. Um, and I was going to an estate sale that Walter was having his condo in Miami. And, uh, and Alex was incredibly jealous because he would want it to go too. And I was like, maybe I'll get a cape, but you know. Um, and Alex is like, man, has anyone ever made a documentary of this guy? And I'm like, no, that's kind of the other reason I'm going. I'm going to be nosy but I'm going to hope to try to connect with Walter and his family or his team. And I did, I met one of Walter's nieces, Danette, who's amazing. Um, and I pitched her on the idea of making a film about her uncle. And she's like, you know, it's really interesting. I'd love to talk to you more about it. I think Walter might be interested in it. I went back two days later to the sale to talk to her a second time. I kind of just like reiterate. And, uh, and she said, look, let's, let's she, we exchange information. Let's talk about this. So Alex and I had a production call scheduled and uh, it was gonna be our first call about this project. And half an hour before that call, Christina Costantini, who had worked with Alex at Fusion, had called him and said, listen, uh, I hear you're obsessed with Walter Mercado. I'm obsessed with Walter Mercado and I wanna make a movie about him. And Alex said like, look, you are not gonna believe this, but I have a call in half an hour with another director. I'm already making a movie about Walter, but why don't, you join the call. I think you guys would get along. You have a similar sense of humor. You have different skill sets that are complementary. Vamos a ver lo que sucede. And uh, and we did. We jumped on a call. Forty minutes later, we decided that Christina and I were going to co-direct the film and that Alex was going to produce it. And uh, all we had to do was convince Walter. Um, <laughs> so no. So hold on, because I'm yeah. loving this. So you're saying because I understood everything. Alex was the one that was able to make quote unquote the meeting happen, right? Is that Alex was the one that put Christina and I together and, and the three of us decided that we were gonna make it together. Got it. So yeah. after you got to that pro process, cause you know, the audience listening right now is, you know, of all types and this inspiration story, it, it goes to show you can't quit. You got an idea, go for it, right? Absolutely. What? At that point, the three of you are connected. You made a decision. This is the Los Tres Amigos, so to speak. And then, boom, how did you finally, What? how much lo longer did it take until you spoke with Walter and convinced him? Well, 
you know, uh, it took a it took a little bit of time, but there was also some extraordinary circumstances. I mean, one is that you know we put together a pitch email to Walter's niece, following up on our conversation, explaining kind of what we were looking to do, and uh, and then had a conversation with her so she had a better understanding, so that she could talk directly to Walter and the rest of uh, her sisters and his team. And uh, she was into it. Um, and um, that was really when we, I think we might have sent some DVDs of like our previous work. So he knew that we were like legit and not just like, you know, three people. Right, calls. right. <laughs> um, but then we set up a phone call and uh, it was, you know, we rehearsed a lot actually. Christina, Alex, and I, we went through, we did role playing, scenario playing to make sure that we could answer any question that may come up. And the funny thing is, you know, he asked some questions. We, we explained our pitch when we were on the call. It was a, the, it was a conference call, speaker call with like everybody in the room. And um, it was very, very loud, true Latino phone call, very, very loud. And afterwards, Alex, uh, afterwards, Walter said, look, I'm interested in the project. I love that young people are interested in me and in telling my story, but I have one question. What are your astrological signs? <laughs> and, <laughs> and we were not expecting that question, I have to tell you. Uh, I'm a Libra, Christine is a Libra. Alex is a Sagittarius, and that was the right answer because he said, okay, I'll do it. Uh, and one of us was a Capricorn or one of us was a Leo. I don't know what would have happened. Uh, so it, was, it, was the, it was the right answer. Uh, the, the next big challenge is uh, El Huracan Maria. Hurricane Maria happened because this is in 2017 when this started. Oh, wow. And so Hurricane Maria happened. Uh, it obviously devastated the island. It affected Walter's house great deal he was without power for several months wow. he had a generator which uh kept him going somewhat and he also which he also shared with all his neighbors in true walter fashion yeah. um uh but it was challenging so we we our first trip to puerto rico was in february of 2018 uh and it was also the first time christina and i had met in person because i was living in my i was living in miami christina was uh living in la at the time and alice was in the process of moving from new york to la so um you know there was it was just kind of a challenge um uh, but uh but you know perseverance you you gotta keep if you believe in it you gotta keep on doing it unbelievable you do realize i mean most people you tell if you were to tell most people like i tell a lot of my clients hey i can guarantee you quote unquote the most phenomenal physique uh, the most great attitude, so you never have anxiety, God knows, panic attacks. It's going to take a long, you know, eight months to 12 months. Are you willing to do it? A lot of times people are like, you know what, that's too long. I want instant gratification. And as you all know, if you were just wanting this to happen right away, even though you had all these other circumstances, it wouldn't have happened, right? And, right. and that's just so awesome o sea, eso me encanta a mí que, que ustedes ni, ni la conocías a ella personalmente, ella ni te conocía a ti, y después os juntáis casi un año y pico, casi dos, ¿no? Era un proceso de tres años, desde nuestra primera conversación, desde que estrena la película de Netflix, eran tres años y dos años de producción. In... Muchas puertas cerradas, muchas puertas cerradas, a lot of closed doors, before we could get going but uh you know when you believe it's, it's like you said when you believe in something and you're you're determined to make it happen you got to be willing to put the time in you got to be willing to to hit a wall you got to be willing to climb over that wall or knock it out of the way um that's the only way you get stuff done particularly i mean particularly obviously in entertainment and in film but in life in general right perseverance is what it's all about a hundred percent sacrificio that sacrifice tasting it when you wake up envisioning it and 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 you know it's amazing how people you know they want things so quickly i get it doesn't matter what it is you found the perfect match the perfect home and it's nothing comes overnight and you know especially with me and my my lifestyle for 20 plus years hello i was depressed i was obese i had every reason to just give up right but I flipped my attitude, right? And clearly your attitude with your team was like so increíble que eso me fascina. You know, y, y el respeto que te tengo a, a ti y al equipo es fenomenal. Because for me, to be just sitting, 
watching this film and not just saying, oh, look, it's Walter. What a cool, the, w- listen, guys, if you guys are listening or watching right now, get ready. You feel this energy? You feel this energy? When you watch this, I want you to do me a huge favor. I want you to not only follow Kareem, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave all of his info here. I want you to guys get involved with this. I want you to spread the wor- word because love, peace, horoscopes, and happiness, verdad? That's right. Is what it's about. And what's cool about Walter, every, he, he relates to anybody. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, gay, tall, short, skinny, fat, right? Right? And, and, and you guys were able to, to make such an amazing and detailed film that, that it wouldn't have happened if you had a bad ad- attitude, number one. And number two, you didn't give up. You keep going. And that, to me, is all about getting inspired. So, dime, hermano, ¿qué proyectos tienes? What projects do you have coming out? And, and, and uh, tell me, dime. Yeah, man, it's difficult because there's much and there's nothing that can talk about. A lot of things in the works, but nothing I could talk about right now. I mean, you know, right. it's funny when you make, you spend such a long time making a movie like this and you get it out into the universe. And, you know, you think that once it's done, it's done. You know, the reality is it's never done. You got to keep working. And so we've been doing a ton of, of press, a ton of outreach, uh, talking about the film, introducing it to new audiences, compartiendo el mensaje de Walter con un mundo entero. Uh, that's super exciting to us. That's, it feels like a full-time job now, like talking about the movie and getting people to right. it. Um, I mean, particularly because, you know, uh, this is a Netflix original around the world. So it's in 190 countries in 31 different languages. Uh, many people who knew Walter, of course, but then there's really, you know, there's tens of millions of people who are just now discovering him. And, uh, and that's really exciting to us. So part of what our job now is spreading that message. And, you know, it's interesting because we, we think about it as a movie about uh, this kind of like icon of Latino culture around the world. But I think, um, you know, much to the point you've been making, I think it's a, it's a movie about somebody who was, you know, maybe the world's original or largest uh, motivational speaker, right? Like Walter always told us to believe in ourselves he told us to love everyone, that love was the most important thing you could have in the world and that love yeah. would conquer all, that you needed to love yourself and yeah. you need to love other people and let yourself be loved. And that if you lived a life based on love, you'd be able to achieve all of your goals. And um, obviously I'm really proud of the movie we made. I'm proud of our team. It's been such a sheer pleasure, but it's so exciting to be able to share that message through our film, share Walter and his message through our film so that hopefully more people get inspired um, to live a life based in love, to learn how to love themselves more and to love one another more. Uh, and I hope that they're entertained when they watch the film and I hope that they're feeling all of that, but that's ultimately what we're trying to do. And so it's great to be able to talk about this and expose more people to Walter. And, and, and I appreciate you having me on here to talk about him and encouraging people to check it out. And I thank you for checking it out and being so uh, such an advocate for it. Oh man, 110% Osa. Like I said, with me, I'm a very passionate guy. I'm passionate when I cook. I'm cook- I'm passionate when I talk to people. That's me. And when I saw this, again, I've done a lot of things in my career, and I've worked with a lot of people and interviewed a lot of, a lot of people. But you're the way you did this, and the and the audience. I want you guys to get involved. Like I said, give us your feedback because there's a lot more to just having an awesome superstar and awesome team. What makes everything evolve is us. Like Kareem just said is spreading the love, spreading the, the joy, you know, there's a lot more to this film of value than just an awesome, Oh, I, I shot this film and I got this actor, that actor, this is just so much more. So everybody grab your popcorn, right? Grab your favorite tequilita, lo que te guste a ti. Y, y, y disfruta, coño, como digo en España. <laughs> <laughs> Oye, last thing, because I know we got to go. This is also, this also was in film festivals, not just Netflix. Is that correct? Yeah, we, we did our world premiere at Sundance Film Festival. And wow. uh, we got to True False Film Festival. We actually had a, a, like a 22 or 25 city festival tour lined up all of these great festivals uh, throughout North America and in Latin America, LGBT festivals. 
all documentary film festivals. And then of course, coronavirus hit and they put a, put a, uh, the brakes on all of that. But uh, more importantly is that at least now through Netflix, it's really going to be this global audience that's able to experience it. So uh, it's been a hell of a fun journey and, uh, and, and it, it keeps on going. And like every day we get, you know, new notices of like somebody else has written about the film and, you know, yet yesterday we found out Vanity Fair did this thing in like Walter Mercado style and uh, yeah. t- this morning of something like the New Yorker did a piece and you're like, that's amazing. I just, I, you know, you love that people are, are uh, learning about Walter and appreciating him and spreading that, that message of love and peace and inspiration. So it's, uh, yeah. it's been pretty great, dude. Yes, great. this is awesome. It's true history, not only in the making, but forever and ever. And this is going to inspire more people, whether you're just an audience mem- member an inspiring producer, maybe a director, or someone that just wants to be cool like Kareem. Yeah, baby. <laughs> be <laughs> cooler than Kareem. Be, be cooler. cooler than Kareem. That's, <laughs> be cooler. that's really the bar you're going to be saying. You can be cool like Jason. Be cool <laughs> like Kareem is the baseline. You that's the way. <laughs> I like it. Woo! Muchisimas gracias. Man, I love your you. attitude. You rock. Everybody, go follow my boy. Spread the love. We're on Spotify, iTunes. YouTube, and you know where? Con corazón y mucho más. Happy Friday. Have a beautiful day, Kareem. Keep inspiring people, man. You rock. Thanks, dude. You too. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.